Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Prophecy File Briefing. I hope that you've been enjoying these briefings over the past several weeks, especially these that we're sharing with you on being rapture ready, the indicators of being rapture ready. I can assure you that the signs of the times are all around us more than what we'll ever be able to cover here. But over the past few weeks, you've been hearing us talk about from these indicators about a vacuum in world leadership and a global system that is already being formed through the combination of the UN and uh, uh, World Economic Forum, all of them having this commonality, even of their speech. Uh, also, the absolute trust in government instead of God. Uh, this is an indicator to us that we are closer to the rapture. And last week, dealing with AI, artificial intelligence, and the takeover around the world of that, uh, certainly just a few moments of a briefing will not cover that subject, but we will more extensively into the future. Today, I want to take up one more uh, to bring to your understanding, and that is the digital uh, currency that is on the horizon and that is really taking over the world in many different ways. The exploration of it here in the United States uh, that has been already in place is getting ready to roll out this central bank digital currency and what we foresee to be a cashless society. More and more, we've been conditioned for that cashless society and Sweden has already taken that up completely. But you can realize that the thrust of this world uh, now coming to this year and next year specifically of uh, the introduction of these digital currencies literally has the ability to be a nightmare for uh, so many people. If you just sit down and think about what it means to take uh, cash or dollars out of the system and everything be completely digitized, not just digitized money, not just the card that you carry uh, day by day, but the programmable digital currency, which means uh, it could be added to or taken away from. This is a really big deal in light of the scripture telling us in Revelation 13 that we'll get more to here in a moment about no man, according to the scripture, during the Antichrist system, uh, during the tribulation period, no man will be able to buy or sell. It will be absolute and complete control. Now, one of the indicators of that in the time that we're in right now and the, uh, the efforts that are being pushed towards this is happening uh, in the Ukraine of all locations. This is just one place, of course, that is global taking place. Listen to this article that uh, headlines, Ukraine is already looking for a post-war digital future. The uh, success of the DIIA app has been mapping out a new path for the country's uh, economic future. Uh, recently, one of the leaders, the vice prime minister of the Ukraine, was actually in Washington, D.C., not soliciting for more aid, but actually uh, selling this particular app, this particular digital innovation that is known as DIIA. That is short, listen for this, that is short for state and I. This is what investors are making uh, investments in right now into the Ukraine of all locations. What, what's happening in Ukraine is more than just this war that has been taking place between them and Russia. There's much more to it. It's almost like a test case for so much that is happening, and the United States is right in the middle of it. So listen carefully to a few things from this article. During the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the app, this DIIA, the state and I, uh, Ukrainians were able to verify their vaccination status, and it didn't take long before it mushroomed into a, a larger uh, app to be used for many other things. And now it's being converted in many ways in this app now to uh, the ability to go into a digital money. This app has been installed on 70% of the Ukrainians' phones. That's 9 million, 19 million citizens. That's about half the population, according to this article. These include the tools, now listen, to give citizens the first, the world's first digital passport, enabling them to get digital driver's license, organize construction permits, register their new babies, pay their taxes, and make digital signatures and do banking. More recently, the article goes on, features have been added to teach the Ukrainians how to fly drones and shoot them down. 
uh, how to receive refugee payments and report the activity of Russian troops and apply for reconstruction funds when bombs destroy their homes. This app has been so effective. Listen now, this is where the United States comes in. The United States Agency for International Development, which is funded in part, uh, has funded part of its development with the British government, is working with Kyiv to be able to export it. Estonia, for instance, is already importing this DIIA code and app. And the United States aid is now working with Zambia, Kosovo, and Colombia for them to do the same thing. The DIIA in Ukraine is Ukraine's best kept secret. This is according to Samantha Power, who is head over the U.S. aid uh, that is happening there. And she was a very powerful individual as the U.N. secretary under President Obama. And a lot of things that uh, she's involved in, along with her husband as well. I can't go into the details of all of this particular article. You can look it up for yourself. But she goes on to say this in conclusion of this article. We, in America, have given around $15 billion cash to the Ukrainian government. And I don't think we could have done that without DIIA because this would have been untraceable. Listen to this. This would have been untraceable in prior regimes, and the Ukrainian government is famously corrupt. She goes on to say, but now there is a digital trail going directly into the bank accounts to track money flows backed by geolocation to, uh, tools. This is a very powerful uh, weapon, actually, to be able to control uh, people and their movements and movement of money, uh, either adding to or taking away from. Listen very carefully. From the book of Revelation, chapter 13, the Bible says that that mark of the beast, verse 16 through 18, deals with the name of the beast, the number representing his name, the number of the beast, the number of man, and the fact that it is identified as 666, which is the number of man. What you need to know is, is that this mark will be a future mark. Uh, it's not one that we see currently. It will come up underneath the regime of the Antichrist. It is a literal mark that will be placed on the right hand or the forehead of every individual. And once that person takes that mark, they are forever and eternally doomed. According to the scripture there, it will be given as a mark of devotion and complete allegiance to the Antichrist system. I truly believe, my friends, that the technology that we're seeing right now will be used uh, for the Antichrist system, the mark of the beast system that is coming on us very, very quickly. Before that takes place, though, the next great event on the calendar of God is the rapture of the church. Please get ready, because the next event that God is going to signal from heaven with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God will be the snatching off of this earth of every believer in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Are you ready? If not, get ready. Get rapture ready. That's the next great event. Until the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.